Hi guys and welcome back to the Urban Butchery Channel with me Frank on my Chileo. Now today's show I'm going to be demonstrating how to butterfly a leg of lamb. So without further ado, bottoms up, heads down, you got it, let's crack on. <laughs> So welcome back guys to the Urban Butchery channel and as I said in the introduction I'm going to be showing you a really quick way of how to butterfly a leg of lamb. Before we do this uh, there's a couple of tools that we need so we've got the Victorinox boning knife and we've also got the edge maintenance tool or a butcher's steel this is a, a lovely Victorian version. So now let's move on to the lamb leg. So obviously we're going to butterfly this now there are lots of benefits with uh, butterflying a leg of lamb it's uh, quicker cooking you can marinate it really really nicely it slices through evenly at the end and uh, lots of other benefits so what we're going to do first we're going to move it onto its side now we've got the thick here we've got the top side on the back we've got what we call the silver side running down through there then we've got the shank here so what we're going to do we're going to turn it on to the thick flank side which is the shank side there we turn it upside down like that if i show you at that angle there we go so what we're going to do we're going to cut a line down through the middle of there so we're going to cut from there right the way through to the end of there. Now your first cut doesn't have to be really deep, but what I would say, start from that ball joint at the end of the femur there. So nice strong grip, take your knife and a nice straight line. Just watch your little thumbs there. And just cut right through to the end. Right, and we're going to open it up a little bit. And then we're going to do another cut. Because what we want to achieve is to get down to this bone. So we can see all the white of the bone. So again, same position, starting position. Move down through. Cut through. Let's have another look. Now I can see the bone there. If you look here, there's the bone. So we've got a pointy knife again from the end. Run through. Just put your thumb in there, make sure you're in the right position. And through to the end. We'll have a look. So we can see the bone all the way through there now. So when you're in this position, you can also see the uh, butterflying happening at the same time. So we just trim this little bit of meat off here. And when we're in this position, just use your knife like this. Do a bit of pointing with your knife. And just put the point of your knife onto the femur bone and just scrape away nice and gently. Now there's no rushing here, nice and gently, take your time. Just using the points of your knife. Okay, now you can go to the dagger grip now. Now we're going down towards the back end of the femur bone now. It does get a little bit tricky around here because you've got bones which come in and go out and go in again. But like I say, just take your time. <clears throat> Work your way down. Then we're going to begin to see the femur bone and the shank bone revealing itself. So start again here. We don't want to cut too deep, just keeps the depth of the, the femur bone. If you cut too deep, there is a possibility you'll cut right the way through. All right. So now we're going to do the same on the other side. And what we're going to do, we're going to release this, release underneath, then we've got all this femur bone here released, and then we'll move back onto the shank. So, pointy knife again. 
Nice and gentle. Now when I first started in the trade, I used to uh, be trained by a guy called Mr. Binks. And one of his mantras was to say, never cut where you can't see. So we can't see under here. So we just lift that up a little bit and have a look. And then just scrape our knife down the bone, nice and gently like that. And there you go, that's the femur bone released. A little bit more there. Because some people will separate this now. And I think that's what we'll do. Just put it into two stages. So here we've got a joint running through here. And we've also got the kneecap. Okay, which is just down here. So just work your way through it. Just like that. And there's the kneecap. See it there? You just find the opening to that joint, which is there. You can see it. And just wiggle your knife in. Just watch your fingers at this point. Okay. Can be a little tricky. And there you go. There's the femur bone out. Nice and clean as well. So we just pop that to one side. Now we'll deal with the lamb shank bone, which is this one here. Same again. Point of your knife. In you go. It's a little bit easier this one because you can actually get into this membrane here. There. Okay, so just I'll do it from this angle, scrape that down. You can see on the back very clean it is. Just pull that down if you wish. And just continue with the knife. Like so. And just push up against the bone. And that she pulls. There's the shank bone out nice and clean one side. <clears throat> now we're just left with the patella or kneecap. Just do a little bit of uh, edge maintenance there. Now we're going to take this out now. So it's best just to pop it up, put your knife in, watch your fingers. Like so. And what you're trying to do is just sort of push up against the kneecap, like so. Just wiggle around. And there's the kneecap out. So essentially now we have got a butterflied leg plan. If some people like to leave you like that, which is absolutely fine, but I like to take it a little step further so we can spread these thicker muscles out a little bit. So what I like to do is to cut through this along there up to about that point and flap this that way. Now this is why I like, I like to do it. Some people like to cut through this and move that over to there. So I'm just going to slice through like so. They don't go all the way through, like I said, just up to this point here. Slice it through like that. Just have a look. Just so you get rid of that tension. Pull it further onto the tail. So a little bit more through. So that part flaps onto there. And then we'll have a look at it. <coughs> That's looking pretty good, I think. So of course you can marinate this, you can stuff it, you can do, do what you want with it really. So we'll just give it a bit of a check over now. Over on this part here, 
We've got a little bit of a, what we call a grommet, which is a gland. So we'll take that out. We've also got these tendons here. So we'll take that out as well. Just pull it out, take that off. Have another good look at it. That's lovely. We'll put it all together. And then just in the side of here, this is just down the silver side there. I always like to take that a little bit out. Not all of it, but just the, the heavy, <coughs> just the heavy stuff. Check for any bits of bones, blood meat. And there we go, guys. Lovely. Just pull that out. Now that's ready to cook. So there we go. That's how you butterfly a leg of lamb. The urban butchery style. Now let's get on and cook it. Ooh. Welcome back guys. I hope you enjoyed that video as much as I enjoyed doing it. If you did, then please press the subscribe button. Uh, also press the bell icon, then you'll be notified of uh, future videos. Also if the video was beneficial to you um, and you would like to support the channel, then please look at the thanks button. And I'll catch you next time on the Urban Butcher Channel. Skills for life.